So let's talk about your retirement savings. Apparently next week is National Retirement Planning no. Week, so it is time. Uh, I can't advise you on that, but <laughs> Michael New and Schwanner can. You're a certified financial planner and CPA with Outlook Wealth Advisors. Right. Thanks so much for being with us Good here. Morning. So let's talk to people. I know the number one thing when you look at retirement is you're thinking, but I need that money right now. I can't yeah. really look 20 years ahead. So talk us out of that thinking. Yeah, it's a delayed gratification. It's a, it's a hard, hard concept, but here's a, a few tips that are critically important as we kind of head into retirement planning week. I mean, first is simply you, you, you got to take some action. So a few things that have changed for 2019, uh, 401k uh, contributions are actually up to 19,000. So you can put as much as 19,000 in it. If you're a over age 50, you can put an additional 6,000. So up to 25 grand. So for most people, that's the very first thing you should do because mm -hmm. the company may even match, give you a little bit extra there. Now, right. Fidelity did a real quick stu study to say, how much should somebody have? Kind of give you an idea if you're on track. And they said if you're 30, maybe one time salary. By the time you're 50, maybe you have about six times saved up. And by the time you really get to retirement, hopefully close to about 10 times saved up. So it gives you an idea if you're on the right track or not. So what about people, let's talk to people who are like, well, you know what, I'm not 20 anymore. Is it too late for me to start? Yeah, no, absolutely not. You gotta, you gotta start somewhere, which, but the critical part that goes with it, that next part is they get closer to retirement. You gotta double check the, the risk as well. It says many people, uh, particularly baby boomers, they say they have more money at risk in their 401k than maybe they should. Okay. It says we've had enjoyed a good 10 year market, but things don't go up forever either. So simple way to just check that risk. Not precise, but little rule of thumb. Uh, take 100, subtract your age from it. The amount you have left is how much you should have on the risky side of the fence. Okay. So 60 year old, maybe only 40% at risk, but it encourages to get a little more conservative as you get closer to needing the money. But that's something that someone like you, a wealth management advisor, can <laughs> kind of walk us through, right? Because it's gonna be different for every person and Absolutely. every situation yep. what you should be planning for. So it, it, at Outlook Wealth, we encourage people to have a comprehensive plan. So you need to address the, the taxes, the risk, the income, as well as some of those other emergency things like health care care, life insurance that oftentimes are overlooked. Well, is it enough to just set up the retirement like a 401k and call it a day or do you need to be checking in every once in a while with your advisor to make sure you're on the right track for what your goals are? No, perfect, perfect question. So certainly as we're oh, heading into you. retirement week, it says we encourage people, yes, sit down with a financial professional so you can get personalized real answers, check your goals, are you on the right track? But that is something that you should do at least annually, make sure you're on the right path. And as those tax laws change, as 401k savings opportunities change, make sure you're aware of them and taking advantage. And that's where a professional can certainly help. Okay, so now's as good a time as any to get started or Absolutely. to just take another look. Make sure you're on track for what you want during your retirement years. Yes. Yeah, thanks so much for Thank you, Lena. coming in here so early on your Saturday. We do it for you.